He lives in there in both America and in the state of Oregon, he starts his own village called as Rajnishpura. Later on, the American government arrests him and puts him behind bar. And then Rajnish alleges that in the prison, the US government gave him slow poison. Imagine Almighty God being slow poison. <laughs> Later on, he deported, he comes back to India, and in the city of Pune, he starts his new center called Osho Kapu. And when you go to Osho Kapu, you will find him on his samadhi mentioned there. But one Rajnish never born, never died, but visit the earth from the 11th of December 1931 to the 30th of January 1990. They forgot to mention on the Samadhi that he was he visiting the world. He was not giving visas to more than 30 different countries of the world. <laughs> Imagine Almighty God coming to this world to visit the world and he requires visa to go to different countries. <laughs> And the last test, there's nothing like him. It's so stringent that no one besides Allah can pass. The moment you can compare God to anyone in this world, he's not God. Rest which we know, there are two eyes, one nose, one mouth, one beard. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. For example, someone says that Almighty God is a thousand times as strong as Arnold's first you may have heard the name of Andrew Schwarzenegger, the person called the guy to Mr. Universe, the strongest man in the world. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, whether it be Andrew Schwarzenegger, whether it be Dara Singh, whether it be King Kong, the moment you can compare it a thousand times or a million times, the moment you can compare Allah to anyone in this world, he's not Allah, he's not God. But I'm here, there's nothing like him.